Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, the 14th of January. I'm James Spann. We'll be close to 60 today, but look out for a shot of cold air tomorrow and then again Friday. And a few snowflakes possible late tonight, tomorrow morning. That's the big buzz. Let's go in there and take a look. Uh, this is the big picture. You can see the uh, trough axis beginning to push east of the state. That's going to push the clouds out. It should provide a pretty nice day today. Uh, the uh, lingering morning clouds are going to go away soon. The sky should be mostly sunny. The high today, upper 50s, maybe some folks approaching 60. Should be a day kind of like Sunday if you enjoyed that. We're starting off the day with 40s in most uh, places around here. Uh, you can see how it's cleared back up in northwest Alabama. They've got 40 at Haleyville, but the clouds are kind of keeping temperatures up in the 50s down to the southeast of here. But again, it'll be a pretty comfortable day today. New shot of cold air is uh, up north, and we'll feel that uh, tomorrow as we struggle to get out of the 30s during the day. Uh, up north with the Clippers system, we've got winter weather advisories and even a winter storm warning up for parts of Wisconsin. And down here, we note with interest, the National Weather Service in Nashville posting a winter weather advisory for the Cumberland Plateau as uh, they might see some uh, light snow accumulation up there. No advisories for our state now. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through uh, Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, and really there's not much. There could be a little uh, light rain tonight before it changes to snow, but not very much. And, of course, this is the map everybody wants to see. This is the chance of greater than one inch of snow from 6 o'clock local time this evening until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. I find it interesting that uh, this has, you know, 10 to 20 percent probabilities of that down in southwest Alabama, almost down to Mobile. Uh, of course, the higher numbers are up around the Great Smoky Mountains and points north and east. Uh, and we'll talk in detail about this as we go through modeling here. Let's take a look. This is the uh, GFS, the 06Z run valid at 12 noon today. And this is at 500 millibars. And you can see... Uh, a broad trough carving out over the east in that new energy up around Des Moines and Minneapolis-St. Paul. That's the Clipper system. And down below that, there's a surface low with that feature near Milwaukee. But around here, the day should be nice. Again, uh, highs 57 to 60 with a good deal of sunshine. Clouds come in tonight. And let's go to the old high-res NAM, 4-kilometer resolution. This is 5 o'clock tomorrow. And hey, hey, little batch of uh, snow coming through snow showers uh, this is suggesting the uh, more significant snow activity would be a little north of Birmingham up in northeast Alabama as you might expect 10 o'clock tomorrow morning that batch of precipitation is on the way out and um, this is six o'clock tomorrow evening and interesting to note the NAM is still printing out potential for snow flurries or snow showers even late in the day as very cold air aloft makes for a very uh, somewhat unstable atmosphere. These are kind of like the rain showers you see in a summer day, except these are snow showers. So will we have any snow cover from this? This is the NAM uh, snow depth tomorrow at noon. And basically it shows potential for a little dusting uh, northeast of Birmingham. Not very much. The GFS shows no snow cover at all here. Again, same time. This is valid at 12 noon. And this is the buff kit data. And one run of the NAM, the OZ run, was very aggressive. It, it, and, and using the analysis tools within buff kit, it's spitting out eight uh, tenths of an inch of snow here. Uh, but most of the other models are, are, you know, way down there in the dusting category, and that, that OZ NAM seems to be an outlier. But, you know, the problem with snow showers, those things can produce a lot of snow in a brief time, you know, like a, a summer rain shower in the afternoon. Doesn't do it everywhere, but in some spots, there could be some heavier snow bursts that might make the ground white. 
but trying to tell you where those heavier snow bursts would be 24 hours in advance is not happening. It's like telling you where it's going to rain on a summer afternoon. It's not happening. So I guess there could be a dusting or a little bit somewhere around here. But for most places, for now, we're not going to mention accumulation. Uh, temperatures will be near freezing tomorrow morning. The uh, uh, GFS is printing 31, so we'll have to watch that. Um, and you might just want to get up a little early tomorrow morning and turn on uh, the blog and see what's happening, if anything is happening with that. But again, for now, we don't expect it to be a big deal. The cold is the big deal. This is the uh, midday look coming off the GFS. The uh, 540 line way down in the Gulf will struggle to get out of the 30s with a very chilly northwest wind of 10 to 20 miles an hour, maybe gusting higher at times. All right, this is Thursday, and uh, we will warm up. Now, Thursday morning is going to be cold. We'll be in the low 20s, uh, but the high should be 45 to 50. Thursday afternoon, but on Friday, another clipper sharpens up the East Coast trough again, and yep, another shot of cold air. Uh, we'll struggle to get out of the 30s. This one not showing much moisture at all. I guess there could be a few snow flurries maybe Friday morning, but uh, not as much moisture as the system that we're going to see tomorrow. Saturday as we start the weekend, going to be cold Saturday morning. Uh, we figure lows 17 to 22. And then the high Saturday afternoon in the upper 40s, sunshine will be out in full supply. This is Sunday. We'll start the day in the 20s, the high in the upper 40s. So kind of chilly over the weekend, especially cold in the morning, especially Saturday morning. Here's uh, Monday of next week. We start to moderate. Highs go up in the 50s. And this is Tuesday, a week from today. Still, we've got broad ridging in the west and troughing in the east. And down below that, a cold front is kind of coming in. And um, this is... Next week, Thursday, the 23rd, pretty good-looking trough and another cold shot coming in here. So um, that'll deliver more cold air. This is the end of the forecast on the 29th. Westerlies are pretty strong around the nation, and that's an interesting look. Uh, that's a snow look for Tennessee and a rain look here. But, of course, this is all speculation. But, again, I think the key word for the rest of January will be changeable. We'll see these cold pops. They don't last long. We warm up. Turns cold again. Uh, it's going to keep us on our toes. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.